My friends, welcome back to another episode of the United Federation of Planets. Now, as you can see, the core of this uh, empire has changed, as well as somewhat of the shape. Yes, I had a, another crashed uh, game. What I'm trying now is, uh, I'm going to put this back on semi-annually, uh, uh, but what I'm going to try now is I'm running the game in with OpenGL. Perhaps it will smooth out uh, a bit of the game perhaps mm, less crashes i don't know i don't know what's been causing it let me know in the comment section if you are having those uh, similar problems actually um but we'll, we what we will do now is we're going to let the game at least run a tiny bit uh do i want to keep more leaders i actually do now the thing is if i don't keep my uh, leaders up there uh, what I will get is a bunch of people that I can't work with. Look at this. Anomaly respurt speed is, is like a negative 15. Like, what the hell? Come on, man. I can't use these for anything. It's just so annoying that sometimes you'll get these, um, uh, these, these, these scientists, which you can absolutely do nothing with. Um, new ship. That is cool. Uh, so are we going to take it? Uh, yeah, we're going to take it, whatever. Hmm, that is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm missing one of the options though. Oh, actually no, it just lagged out. Of course, of course it is. So, uh, what I want to be achieving during um, this uh, mini session is uh, we're going to build up the fleets and for that, the Tolian Assembly Where the hell are those guys? These guys are at war? Oh, that is gorgeous. Um, the Sonic Command is most likely even a um, a better candidate for war than the Klingons. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Um, by claiming the Sonic Command, by taking those, um, it would probably make me the largest one in the galaxy. We already have all of this. The Bream are not doing all that well. Uh, the Dominion is probably getting his ass handed to him. It's pathetic and inferior in each other way. I don't understand why the Kardashians are choosing to be their vassal. They should rebel. And um, I would definitely help them out. Let's see. Leader lifespan. Trade value plus 5. Mobile repair depots. It's a supporting aura. That is still cool. Effect on own fleet. Having a few, at least a battleship like that, would be really cool. Uh, the Bream as... Oh. Now that's interesting. The Bream and the all Assembly. And the Sonic Command and, the so uh, and them. These guys are going to get killed. As well as the Aetolian Conquest. Okay. Wow. They are going to die. <laughs> oh boy, they are going to die. Um, so I'm not sure. Do we want to go for Cleon? Do we want to go for um, the Sonic Command? Uh, we'll see. Anyways, that's uh, not important right now. Before we do any upgrading, uh, we're going to take a look yet again to my ships. Uh, it's been something that I have been putting off for uh, a very, very large amount of time. I don't think I have the battleship. So that is a bit of a problem. Here we go, like the Discovery class. Ah, the USS Discovery. Definitely cool. Um, but what do we want to change? Like, tracking is cool. Tracking is really cool, but survivability has been extremely extremely horrible oh, look at that amount of power there that we're not using evasion supplied speed warp speed uh, it's actually all not too good um I, i'm not too offended can we change these guys to um tactical quarters they're now on science quarters right like, and, and and that's cool but not really for us what we want is well, we want more shields. Shield hardness. It is a tech free though. This is a tech one. It is good. It, it, it really is. And we got 1.1k of 
topo line we will need that but i'm thinking about doing this one so this one over there uh getting the um the supply speed evasion uh, can we get less no we we have to take two hmm it's a bit of a shame though there's so many options why did i never bother to take a look Cargo bay, ship upkeep, that is the dumbest option ever. Repair station, can we change this to tactical? What does it do for us? More weapon damage? Look, we we're really low on our tactical uh, options. As for, um, as for these, we're actually doing quite well. Why is that one thing not there anymore? take you I do want to get the shields um, definitely it's this one right well it does make the survivability overall a bit better and this is just shields this is shields hull points and armor so it's definitely a good choice as for you maybe sub light speed movement speed I don't care much about warp speed though, tracking. Let's get one tracking. Or maybe two. Two tracking? No. Stealth hull? It's evasion. Sublight speed. Let's take sublight speed and go for. Uh, difficult! Tell me, what is a good ship design? Tell me about that. Should we get, like, regen? It's plus 3. It's not all that interesting, actually. Additional bulkheads is just armor and hull points. Shield emitters. Daily shield regeneration. Might be interesting. As for weapons... <clears throat> hmm. Let's pause it for a second, because there are a few. Let's save here. Uh, there were some messages coming up. Okay, we don't care about those. Let's get back in there. Medium hull breaching phases. So it's most damage against shields and hull. Why? Why actually? Why? Average damage. Tracking is zero. Uh, accuracy 80 against 75. Damage 60, 80. Well, the damage is a lot less but the shield penetration on it is insanely good do we have also something for armor maybe get one of these up here mm. these are for um i'm sure there is a bunch of them space uh, okay we're not getting those but um the armor damage would be nice, and this these are these ones. It's it's weird that the color doesn't change with them though. Um, shield penetration. Look, the tracking is absolutely horrible. It is. It is horrible. Look, this one has a lot of shields. But we we'll, what we lack, what we lack, is armor. That's what we're weak against. A lot of armor. I think these options are, I don't know why we're getting like three different weapons on here we might as well just focus on on these lot it has a penetration as well as shield damage but the hull damage is a negative but we can use the torpedoes for that I'm actually thinking about just getting these guys up here everywhere it might just put us back but I'm thinking this one might be a better option for us so we'll save that current design i wish this this could be brought down a tiny bit oh here we go the noble one uh, we're going to welcome them into the federation of planets of course uh, with that done um, we're going to we cannot welcome them i would like to welcome them on earth but we can't Sponsor them over there, that's fine. So the, the Noblians have now integrated, which is a good thing. So who will we be focusing on next? It is um, 
Well, I don't know. Invite into the coalition. I think that is a good idea. Are they now part of the coalition? Not yet. The others will have to vote. And maybe we can actually do the same thing with the Cardassians. Revoke support. They're pathetic. Well, they love us. That is one thing. But I don't understand why you are... Uh, part of that empire, I don't understand. Let's see what will happen. Will they get into the coalition? And they... Oh. Yeah, of course you decided to join the coalition. That is the best viable option for you. Uh, who, who are you, actually? Can we invite more? Look, the more that we have in the coalition, of course, the better. We don't want you. You guys are... Cool. How, how strong are you still? You're pathetic, but still overwhelming. Let's not go to war with you then. Um, they don't like that. I don't understand why we are getting, like, people angry at us. Uh, let's go and take another look at more of our options. Um, we got a regular um, cruiser here, shield. and all. I'm, not, I'm not sure. He is strong. Look at this. The heavy cruiser and the advanced cruiser, they, they definitely are strong. And he has two options, so this could be the uh, the next best thing. Oh, we can also go into... Wow, that is def... I'm, I'm not nearly done here. Warp speed plus 40. Jump, charge, jumping, charging... To oh, that is so cool. They can jump, I didn't know. Um... Let's go for the jumping times. Armor hit points. This is all. If it's maxed out, I'm happy. Armor hull points. Weapon damage. Let's just go for the armor hull points. So you guys are now done. Uh, how about you? Mm, I'm not sure about this one though. I would like to get the other weapons. Look, the tracking is 10. And it will remain 10. The accuracy is about the same. And we're actually using the modulated phaser at the moment. The range is 30. And the range is 20. So it's definitely a weapon for nearby. But we can't really change that into the heavy cruiser option. But I, I want to go into this option yet again. Um, as for you... Dual type phaser banks. Do we have something for armor? Armor would be so nice if we had that. It is blue. Oh, still no armor. Hull breaching phases. Let's just keep it like that. We can't change those. We got shields in here. We got armor, hull points. <sighs> Do we want to move this guy? I think we do. Let's change this one. Uh, this is just pure damage output. The tracking is nice. Not all that interesting. As for you, definitely go for the damage. The Arius is now ready and able to get into our fleet. We're going to do so, uh, definitely. We'll, uh, we'll change our fleets accordingly. Um, we're definitely going to be changing all of this. Look, this, this, this don't work. This, this don't work. So let's get rid of most of all of these options. Here we go. So the third fleet, who is also present now at his own starbase. The hover class is still going to be the hover class, so we're going to look into that. The walker is still in there. I'm not sure about the walker though. Uh, decline. So we had the Arius heavy cruiser. As well as the advanced cruiser in here, right? So let's get those. The Ares. And the Nimbus, apparently. I, I think he's gone. Let's get rid of him anyways. We'll do one fleet at a time. Apparently we cannot disband him. Don't ask me why. And let's get one of you in there. Now what I've been told is I should... Uh, try to get at least six of everything in here. Uh, the walker class 
apparently it cannot be disbanded. Are there ships being built? No. Shall we upgrade the fleet? Well, at least we're going to be um, getting all of these ships in here. <clears throat> um, the Walker class, right? It's this one and the Hover. Where is the uh, the Hover class? It, it is no more. Okay. So let's take a look at these guys. So dedicated phases, it's shield. I'm not sure if I'm liking this design. What is this? What is this? Ooh, it is, um, it, it's a coat. It has shield damage? Well, uh, I can't say I'm too interested about this. The battle cruiser. It's kind of like your generic design and perhaps get three of you. So we can actually make you very, very sturdy on the battlefield. This, this is all, all, all nice, you know. I rather have this one. Maybe you two survivability at the, at the maximum. Mine sweeper reduces the damage from ships taken from mine. A gemmer reduces the accuracy of all enemy ships in range. Okay, okay. Now that is getting cool. You are maybe not as bad. Combat disability chance. Ship hold points, tracking. How is your tracking? Your tracking is zero, so we might as well take the other options. These are still the highest designs we can get. Apparently we cannot save. And the reason for it is because we are... Let's get rid of these. I shouldn't have done this. Go. You. Um... Let's save you. There you go. Uh, the Miranda class. 70 minutes already. Damn. I'm sorry, guys. But this is going to be um, an episode filled with um, us doing the... I don't know. Why would he change? Why would he take these? Look, shields. And, and, and this one is hull damage. So... Hmm. Shield and hull damage would be very nice, actually. Let's get two of those. But we, what we lack is armor. Look, there, there it is. Um, that was our problem with the Romulans. The Romulans were um, pretty heavy on the armor. And we just could not get through that. Let's uh, boost shields to the maximum. Uh, although complete the rest. It's tracking. Do we have tracking on these weapons? We actually have some on the torpedoes. So we might as well pick them. What does it? This device makes the ship immune to all snare auras. Effect on hostile ships. These ships are actually very cool. Huh. Supplied speed. Firing rate. Negative five. Defense module. This device um, activates only when the ship is installed, but it, it's measured through the immunity. I don't care about this one. I do like the fire rate. But why would you change that? Okay, let's not use the auto one. As for you, they must be dealt with. Definitely. Let's pause here for a second. Sensor range? Why not? Let's save the Miranda class over here. Um, what is your option? So you have nothing else. How about you? Look, I don't think I want to have those frigates anymore. No. We're not going to build the frigates. But getting like the Miranda class in here and the Walker class. All of these should be in our... From the Miranda, the Walker, the Ares and the, uh, the Crossfield class. We should definitely get them in. Um, let's take a quick look at our ship designs over here. Let's see. The NIMS class uh, should, get, should be disappearing. There we go. So we have the Arius, the Walker, the Crossfield and the Miranda. 
Um, and I've been told to try to get at least six of each one in it, which is probably going to be impossible. So I'll start with three, that will bring us up to 174. Three on each two, 22. I think this is going to be a valid ship design. Um, if it's going to work, it's going to work. But we'll see that uh, quite soon. We are going to reinforce him. Uh, apparently our Admiral died as well. Let's reinforce you. 10,000. Damn. Whoa, that's expensive. A Tuvok. That was your problem, mate. Get back into your fleet. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. We're tinkering with, um, with everything, with our ship designs for sure. And we're going to kill off uh, these guys with the first fleet. Let's send you over here. Let's kill you. And we're going to... I'll, I'll be looking at it off camera for the rest of it. Um, I will not change the design. So I hope you will enjoy and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.